Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for being here this morning. My name is Chris Turner. I'm the principal here at Independence. And I'm so excited to see so many people here this morning to help us celebrate our SOX Day. Just want you to know, SOX stands for Serving Our Community Kid Style. We've been doing this for 11 years now. We take our curriculum that the children are learning in their classrooms, we tie it to service, and we have a morning devoted to what we call academic service learning. And that's what's happening. All over the school today, every student is involved in academic service learning all morning long. You have a chance to be with our fifth graders, and I think you'll enjoy the time that we're going to have together, because we've got some special events planned for you. We've been recognized nationally for our SOX Day. We've earned statewide awards. It's something that schools all over have looked at and are starting to copy. We actually have visitors here from other schools, other districts today that are learning about SOX Day as well. So thank you for being here and being a part of this. We're going to start with the early days of rock and roll. This song is called Rock and Roll is Here to Stay. We don't care what people say, rock and roll is here to stay. class here and they just finished making the Meals on Wheels muffin boxes. What was everyone's favorite part? Um, decor um like tying the boxes and making. Tying them. Alright, we should probably raise our hands. That's probably the way, best way to do it. Okay, what was your favorite part? My favorite part was helping people in need.
We're here with Chris Turner, the principal here at Independence Elementary. And why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about Sax Day? Well, Sox Day is a program that's been going on now for 11 years at our school. It started when we decided that our children, we really wanted them to have experience with service learning. But we also wanted to tie that service learning to curriculum. We wanted it to be a real experience, so the curriculum and the service went together. So 11 years ago, we started Sox Day, and with a collaborative effort, it's incredible, our parents, our teachers, our community, and of course our students, we've been able to serve many, many students over the years. It's a half day where we devote totally to academic service learning. Every grade level is involved in a service learning project. Fourth graders made blankets, third graders are packing meals for wheels on wheels for the senior citizens, our fifth graders are interviewing senior, senior citizens and are singing for them. We've got all kinds of activities going on. It's a wonderful program to connect our curriculum with service and make it real life for the kids. Mm -hmm. How do you notice the kids like learning or growing through the program? It's fantastic and I was just sharing with someone that I've seen the impact more than ever this year. I have seniors in high school come back to me and they talk about what they remember about our school and they remember Socks Day. They remember making the blankets for the students that were ill in the hospital. They remember singing for the seniors and interviewing them. So the impact as they go through kindergarten all the way through is pretty incredible and uh, we're really excited about that because that's what it's about. It's about really learning how to serve your community and carrying that on after you leave Independence Elementary. Mm -hmm. How has the community reacted? Well, it's been fantastic. We've actually gotten quite a bit of accolades for this program. Our program has earned national uh, recognition as well as statewide recognition. Uh, we have visitors here today from other school districts. We've had visitors over the years come in and they try to copy or mimic what we do and so we'll help them out. So and the community just supports us tremendously and the other part of the community really is our parents. This could not happen without the parent support that we have. We probably have maybe a hundred parents in our school today volunteering their time, giving up their time for a half a day to be here to support this program. So it's been a huge impact. Mm -hmm. How do you think that the um, parents and the teachers especially um, enjoy this day? Well, well it's evident that the, the teachers enjoy it because they see the impact it has on the kids. The students love it. They were telling me, this is so much fun, I could do this all the time. And the parents were, have been telling me that when the calendar comes out at the beginning of the year with all of our events for the year, they circle Sox Day on their calendar and they, they make sure they take that time off because they want to be a part of something so cool. I've had parents say this is their favorite day of the year. And we do a lot at our school, but this is their very favorite day. Great. Thank you. Anything you'd like to add? Uh, no, I want to thank you guys for being here to help us promote our Sox Day and we would certainly love to see more and more schools get involved in it. So thanks for being here and uh, being a part of this with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.
I would also like to introduce Mrs. Morrison. She is a master gardener and she is representing the Independence Township Senior Center. She gave us many great ideas and supplies that we use this morning. Thank you so much for all of your help. Please accept the seed balls that we made. We hope that they will bring smiles to the senior citizens in our community. and are going to help us uh, with some money to train Bixby as a service dog down the road and to help support Cooley, the service dog. 11 years, what a testament to your vision for the community and thinking above yourselves with open hands and open hearts. Thank you so much.
Zach's day. Well, on behalf of all of the hometown seniors that we are going to deliver these to tomorrow, thank you. They look forward to this all year. You guys have done this the last few years, and I'll, I'll tell you a secret. These little cards, I think, mean more to them than the muffins. I go and visit them, and I see these on so many refrigerators, and sometimes I see them taped right to their front door. So that means so much, and your little messages will really help to brighten your day. Thank you so much. My name is Tyler Stinger, and I am in fourth grade. I am pleased to introduce Ms. Stewart from Children's Miracle Network at Beaumont's Children's Hospital. We sure have a lot of money for you to take back with you today. Thank you for taking the time to be here today. Thank you, especially for the fourth grade. You guys are putting a smile on so many kids' faces who have come into the hospital that are sick. Now they can pick up their own blanket and keep it forever. So thank you so much, everybody. We really appreciate it. Hi, my name is Samantha, and I'm in fifth grade. I'm honored to present Ms. Rollinson, the Independence Township Senior Center coordinator. We really enjoyed spending time and learning more about each other today. We would like to give you this plan to show our appreciation for you coming to the Indians. I get to play double duty today, so um, thank you so much to Independent School. This has been a wonderful morning for me. I'm usually doing me deep in paperwork, so this was a lot of fun. I got to hang out with the fifth graders and Gavin and his friend, we played games, and what a treat. So, and I appreciate everything you do for the Senior Center. It means a lot to the, to the seniors in our community. Thank you.